Hello all. In this video, I kind of want to make a point. A point about how the more we move forward, the more we move backward. Way back in the 1960s and 1970s, everything worked on a mainframe. And on the mainframe, there were connected what they called dumb terminals. And all the different users would be running on the mainframe. It would be running an operating system called Unix. Unix, by the way, is what Linux is based on today. And as you know, I'm a big Linux fan. Well, anyway, getting back to the history, Unix was built from the ground up to support a multi-user, multitasking platform. And by that I mean that it was made for many users to be hooked up to one mainframe computer and they would all store their files on a separate part of the mainframe computer and then they would log on with their dumb terminals they would be connected to the mainframe the mainframe computer did all the computing and all they would be sitting at would be what they call a dumb terminal okay a dumb terminal meaning they could see what was going on on the screen they could enter data into the keyboard but the terminal was basically nothing more than an input output device to the mainframe computer all of the processing the memory the storage everything was basically done on the mainframe computer now fast forward 40 years or so and what do we have now? We have people using what they call computers, computers that have a hard drive, they have a processor, they're fully capable of doing you know, their own work completely independently of anything else. But the way the computing culture, and that's the key to this, is the computing culture is going, everybody is connecting to the internet. With the advent of cloud storage, they're not using their s internal storage anymore. In other words, the storage on the local machine. They're not using that. They're using storage on the cloud, which is basically a fancy way for saying internet storage. They're not doing a lot of their own processing in a lot of cases because a lot of these cloud web-based portals have what they call software as a service. In other words, they're running the software off the main, off the internet, okay, through the web portal. Okay, think about that for a minute. So if we think back to our model of many years ago, you had your dumb terminal, you had your mainframe computer, the computer provided the storage, the processing, the memory, and everything else needed. Fast forward again to today, and what we are doing, we have basically people sitting at a computer, but they're hooked up through a web portal. Everything they do is being stored on the cloud, the software they're running is being run on the cloud. It's not on their local machine. It's on the cloud. And basically, all the services they're getting are being provided through the web portal over the cloud. The cloud being a fancy word for the Internet. Now, if you kind of think logically about it, isn't the Internet cloud kind of similar to what the old mainframes used to be. And because they're not storing things on their local machine anymore, and because their local machine is no longer doing the processing, and their local machine is no longer running the software, basically what they're doing is they're sitting at the functional equivalent of what used to be called a dumb terminal. Even though it's a full-fledged computer, it's got a processor, it can run programs, it can store locally, it can do all of that stuff. The technology has advanced, but the way the culture is going, the internet through these web-based programs and these web-based storage, cloud storage, they're running on their local, on their machines that they're sitting at 
The storage is being done on the cloud. The software is being executed on the cloud. Their services that they're receiving ancillary to the programs they're running is on the cloud. So it's a pretty good leap of logic to basically equate the cloud being the internet with what used to be called a mainframe computer. Because they're not storing on their local machine, they're not running software that's installed on their local machine, and they're not using ancillary services provided by their local machine. Basically, this fully functioning, fully operational computer is being reduced to the operational status of what used to be called a dumb terminal. So think about that for a minute. It, it may need some thought to get into. Way back in the 80s, you had a bunch of dumb terminals hooked up to a mainframe. And that's how things were worked. The operating system for that was Unix, the forerunner to what today is Linux. And Unix was built from the ground up to separate everybody because they knew everybody on the dumb terminals was using the mainframe as the main processing unit and storage device for everything they were doing. Now fast forward to today. Well, most of us are running what they call Windows, except for the few that are running Linux and Mac. Okay, but basically, when you use software as a service, you use iCloud, uh, Microsoft Azure, or any of the other cloud storage devices, okay, you're using the cloud to do your storage, your software, executing the actual software itself, and all ancillary services. Doesn't that reduce the status of your local computer to that is a dumb terminal? Think about it. Dumb terminals hooked up to a mainframe or a full-fledged computer hooked up to the cloud, which is doing all the work. And all the local computer is doing, even though it's capable of so much more, is providing input to the cloud and output from the cloud. They say things run in cycles and nothing brings this fact home in the computing world more than this. Basically, we've come full circle. Instead of running our computers as computers, we are now using our computers basically as dumb terminals to the mainframe, which today we call the cloud. The cloud being synonymous with the Internet. Now, Linux was designed as a Unix based system, which was designed for that type of a uh, hierarchy, so that would be the most secure. Windows was originally, and Mac, by the way, for that matter, they were both designed to be running on computers, for the computers to be the full resource. So, faults in the system leave a lot of security holes for both Mac and Windows, but Linux, because it was based off of Unix, which is basically what we're doing today, is the more secure of the bunch. Because Unix was created for a multi-user, multitasking operating system to be run on a mainframe computer providing services to the many dumb terminals that hook up to it. These days we have the Internet which is acting as our mainframe, and basically what we are are a bunch of dumb terminals hooking up to it. But again, Linux was designed for that because it, it's based on, Lin on Unix. Okay, Windows and Mac were designed to be run by computers. But we're not we're really using our computers as computers these days. We're using them as dumb terminals hooked up to the mainframe being the cloud. So what that shows is the saying, back to the past? Well, back to the past is exactly what we have today. Think about it. I hope you enjoyed this video.